I keep reading all these comments about us hitting 100k saying we've changed. Like, we just hit 100k. We haven't changed. Yeah, man. I don't know what they're talking about. All right, guys, we just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so we want to do something a little special. You saw it in the video title, we're living like ZZ Top for 24 hours. That means beer, barbecues, bikes, and most importantly, rock and roll. Okay, now they've got a couple big songs, Tush and Legs, so we thought, what better way to start today with a bunch of stuff planned than hitting a leg day in the gym? We'll see you there. The official fruit of Texas is the grapefruit. Now, undeniably the worst fruit. I have to agree, I never like grapefruits. It's really the type of fruit for people that don't want to enjoy their fruit. Yep, but we are doing these Top for 24 hours. They're from Texas, and apparently Texans totally enjoy the grapefruit, Ugh. so. Yeah, well, we do need energy for our workout, so this is a grapefruit-free workout, so uh, cheers. Oh, just as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, way better than I thought it was gonna be. Really? Yeah, it's fine. I hate grape, like actual grapefruit, but this tastes way better than grapefruit. No, I mean, I guess so, but it's just, I mean, when's the last time you actually had a grapefruit? That's true, that's true. I it's probably, I, I was like 10 and I hated it, and I think I still would hate the actual fruit, but this is like sparkly kind of thing. It, it, it kind of works. I still guess I have PTSD. Like I went to like, I don't know, some hotel when I was little and they have like the continental breakfast and you have to like, like oh, we'll get a grapefruit because I thought it was like an orange, not an orange. So misled. Actually, so actually, misled. I lied. This is gross. Now ZZ Top, like any great rock band, knows the most important muscle, not the brain, it's the tush. So that's what we're doing now. All right, we're at Getting Messy Barbecue in Winter Springs, Florida. Now, Texas, they're known for their barbecue and most of all, known for their brisket. So we're gonna get a bunch of brisket today, among some other things. I've never actually had a good brisket from what I understand. I've only had like the Smokehouse brisket sandwich from Arby's that I used to work there. <laughs> so I used to eat that sandwich like religiously. So it's kind of like first, I guess. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get roasted in the comments. Well, you're gonna get roasted in the comments. I, that Have you had a good brisket? I've had great brisket. Okay, okay. We'll see how good this compares. So uh, let's do it. Started out in a uh, in a gas station in Sanford and Lake Mary Boulevard, and then a lot of people started coming in and enjoying the barbecue. Then that gas station went bankrupt, and I ended up getting one of my customers to invest in opening another spot, which is the gas station that made all the noise yeah. on Hall Road in Aloma. Yeah, and uh, you know, then from there, man, it was just hard work, everyday dedication, and then lucky break. Um, you know, I got, got featured on Kelly and Ryan's show. Really? Yeah. And uh, that hit national news, and then once we hit national TV, man, it's been all uphill. You too. Thanks, you too. Food is done, brisket has been consumed. Okay, so I feel very Texas on the inside. I feel very full of Texas energy. My outsides could be a little more Texas. So we're gonna go to a store right now, get some better Texas attire. More appropriate for the occasion. More appropriate Let's for the it. occasion. Let's go. All right, wearing these gym clothes, getting a little old. But you know what every girl's crazy about, Andy? A sharp dressed man. That's right, that's why we're here at Tractor Supply Company. We are about to get ourselves some sharp attire. Let's do it. I 
This is working, dude. <laughs> this is much better. This is much better. I definitely feel uh, like I could rattle cattle. Rattle, I, wrangle cattle. Wrangle cattle. Wrangle some cattle. Wrangle some cattle. I, I think the one thing we're missing, honestly, dude, is some cheap sunglasses. It's kind of fast. That's the one thing we're missing. Texas all over. We're starting with some uh, some Shiner Bach. That's from the uh, Spotzel Brewery. It's in uh, Shiner, Texas. Yep. Same, same brewery. We got some Ruby Redberry because you know how much we enjoy uh, the fruit of Texas, the yeah, grapefruit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so we have those two for the beers. Then as far as the liquor goes, we're doing a Texas tea. Now in here is some Peach Deep Eddies. So Deep Eddies is a vodka from Texas. Now we were going to do some tequila, because believe it or not, Billy Gibbons, the guitarist for ZZ Top, owns a tequila company, Pura Vida. Now, uh, there's a funny story with that. Billy actually went to high school with the CEO of Pura Vida, and the whole time he was trying to get him investing in it, trying to get him to be a part of it. But Billy Gibbons famously has a quote where he goes, I turn my back on tequila at 20, because it turned its back on me. So we're gonna turn our back on tequila for a little bit, uh, and we have, to, we have to honor that. We're being ZZ Top for 24 hours. We have to honor yeah. how it goes. So we're gonna start with this. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna pour a little bit for each of us into a cup and then we're gonna rate it. Same scale as always. So F, bottom tier, A, top tier, and we'll have a special place for S if it's really that good. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. That is really good. Pretty good. It's got a great aftertaste. Uh, a little foamy, you poured a little bad, but that's okay, it's okay. Okay, so I actually love this on the can. It says, serve cold and often. Very good beer, I'm actually very down for that. So rating wise, Andy, what are you thinking? I think A, strong A. I think I'm gonna go A minus. I definitely liked it. I think that really? I'm more excited for the Ruby. I'm right? not much of a beer guy and that was really good. Really? Yeah. Fair enough, fair I could, enough. I could throw some of those back, I don't know. Well, Shiner Bach, that's your A tier. Let's see how we feel about the Ruby Redbird. I'm gonna be open-minded, even though uh, grapefruit, I think, is about as interesting as math homework when you're 13. So very interesting. Very interesting. Trust. Very interesting. And for those who are health conscious, 95 calories. Aren't you a math nerd? I am, but I wasn't at 13. I am now, but at 13, I definitely wasn't. Cheers. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good beer. Is that a beer? What is that? Beer brewed with Texas ruby red grapefruit and ginger. You can really taste the ginger, actually. Yeah. Especially that in the aftertaste. Yeah, I think I like that one better than that one. Really? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go A for this one for sure. I think I'm going B for it. Really? It's, it's pretty good, but the other one's better. Fair enough. Well, I guess I found B. mine. You found yours. You're gonna have that one. Last one. We're doing the uh, Deep Eddies, the Texas tea, peach tea from Texas. Cheers. <laughs> That's good. That's uh, that's dangerous. Now, I really wanted a sarsaparilla out here, a good old uh, sarsaparilla, and this, th that fixes my hankering. That really takes care of it. It's the hat. I feel like this is what I was meant for. I feel like I should always wear this. I should just go to like, in town. <laughs> I shouldn't do any more music reactions. I should just herd cattle. I think so. Yeah. Make a good living. Yeah, make a good, li well, no, make a modest living on the land, you know? It's like, it, it ain't much, but it it's ain't, honest work. It ain't much, but it's what I got, you know? I think it's great. So Texas T, uh, I'm going A plus. I think A plus too. I think A plus too. Mm, that's mm -hmm. good. All right. Well, we're gonna finish these drinks up, and we got somewhere else heading after this. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll see you in a second. All right, guys. We finished up getting drinks. We got our beers. We had our. 
Texas tees. Now we're gonna come in here and play some guitars. Yeah, he's already, he took a fat power nap in the car. Power uh, we had to drive, so we couldn't. But it's okay, we're gonna go in here, channel the spirit of ZZ Top. Billy Gibbons, this is for you. We're gonna try to see if we can find one of his guitars. Okay, so we have a couple of guitars here. The first one here is a 50s Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul. Uh, and the second one is a Gretsch. Now these uh, are the two guitars that Billy Gibbons is most known for. He's got a signature Gretsch, another red one. It's not that same model. He's got his own signature model. Uh, they didn't have it here. We couldn't find it. But uh, if you look it up, it's a great, great model. Looks really cool. The 50s Les Paul, there's actually a really cool story behind it. It's actually the most uh, notable guitar he owns. Is a 59, is a 1959 Les Paul. So we actually got it off of a rancher. It was his first guitar that he ever got. And it's nicknamed the Pearly Gates. Now the reason it's nicknamed the Pearly Gates is because he was doing, uh, is because he had a girlfriend at the time who borrowed one of his cars, took a road trip out to uh, California for a, a movie role. She ended up getting a movie role and then sold his car there, sent him back the money, and he affectionately called the car the Pearly Gates because it was a good luck charm. So sure enough, he took that $250 that he got from his girlfriend for selling the car, bought a 1959 Les Paul, and that's the story. So he no longer plays that guitar. Uh, he actually keeps it uh, away from the stage, uh, but he does play a replica of it. So we wanted to play a 50s in tribute for that, along with the Gretsch. The modern way of tuning the guitar. Do a little tiger beat. Yeah. Dude, that was just, we probably look like chumps in there. Do you realize how many people are just like, <laughs> they're literally walking in there in flannels and hats. And Cowboy hats, badly playing ZZ Dude, top. stumbling through some Z, some LaGrange. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know, we were literally listening to a video of a guy playing LaGrange. Like, how do we play this? We'll figure it out. In the back seat. In the yeah. back seat. Yeah. Well, and he's taking a nap. And Amazing. funny enough, close enough. Like, you knew what the song was, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's great. All right, we just played guitars. Now we're here at Harley Orlando ZZ Top. They love their motorcycles. So now we're here checking them out. Check out some bikes. Looks like they hit leg day. So I wanted to ride some motorcycles, really get in the spirit of ZZ Top, but I realized uh, neither one of us have motorcycle licenses. So we got the next best thing. By six feet. <laughs> All right, you may be better at a fake motorcycle, but who's better at fake shooting fake deer? Only one way to find out. You lost 
the last two, but this is redemption. Okay, redemption. Can you knock all of those beer pong? This is straight ZZ Top territory and 40 balls or less in the time limit. We shall see, we shall see. All right, let's do it. The champ. How does it feel? Feels like a rolling stone. Okay, so killer time in there. Uh, as you can see, uh, Andy clearly worse at motorcycles, fake racing, and also fake shooting fake deer. By hair. Eh, well, I mean, whatever makes you sleep better at night, still lost. But he got, like a baby. he got to redeem himself with some beer pong. Now, yep. you looked like you did pretty good. I, I do okay. I, you know, in a college team, you got five guys. I'm probably third pick. That's probably fair. Third pick. That's Either fair. way, we've been having a great time doing the whole ZZ Top in 24 hours. Now, we're going to go with some Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex. Texas rice. Let's do it. All right, a big part of Texas, obviously, is Tex-Mex. So we already ate lunch, but we're ready here for dinner. Kind of settle those drinks in. We got some drinks later, but that'll be something else. Uh, now, this is somewhere from Orlando called El Potro. So we're going to have some Texas rice and a few other things that I don't know how to pronounce very well. Let's dig in. Oh, oh that was mine. Woo! Look at that shit, dude. That's real good. Texas rice. There's shrimp in there. Oh, shit. That's next level. I did not expect that. Nice some shrimp right in there. Texas knows how to do it right. I hear everything's bigger in Texas. That's why microscopes don't work. Boo! <laughs> they can't all be heaters. Boo, Nacho. Just got to cook cookies. Aw. No, uh, so El Potro Mexican restaurant. Thank you for your support. We supported this local business, but it gave us some. Uh, Some cookies, some heart-shaped cookies. Oh, so, thank you, El Potro. We love you. Pretty nice. It's pretty good, dude. Pretty nice. Dude, so honestly, honest to goodness, this is like some of the best Mexican food I've ever had. Like Tex-Mex. I don't know if it's just like specifically Tex-Mex. Like I don't know what the Tex part of it is, but dude, this goes. This goes so hard. Texas rice, man. We are drinking a ZZ Top classic drink. The story of this drink goes, basically they were in Hawaii, but it opened for the Rolling Stones. They went two weeks ahead of time to, you know, prepare their music and just, you know, get ready. But basically they were sunbathing and drinking like a storm. Their manager said, oh, the bar tabs are getting way too high. That's it. You guys are cut off, limited, two drinks a person a day. That is it. They said, okay. Okay, sure. They found a loophole. Basically at one of the local drinks there was Chip in Orbit, and these were giant drinks that had to be on the floor to drink off of. The manager walked into a bar one time, like, like very soon after that, they were like slobbering drunk and he's like drinking out of a straw, a huge straw off the floor. The manager's like, what the hell is going on? And the guy goes, oh, it's my second drink. It's only my second one. Yeah, and as you can see, each one of these ingredients is in it. So we're gonna teach you how to be as irresponsible as ZZ Top. Remember, yep. uh, be as irresponsible as ZZ Top or don't. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly, not like ZZ Top. So, uh, we're gonna teach you how to make it. So, first ingredient is two ounces of dark rum. So we have that here. You wanna pour some dark rum? Sure. The next thing is one ounce of sweet vermouth. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I had to make sure it was three ounces. Total. Oh, always like in total volume. <laughs> All right, fair enough. The next thing is uh, 0.5 ounces of orange curacao. We got triple sec since they didn't have curacao. It's probably the same thing. Next is another 0.5 ounces of light cream to cacao. This is gonna be like the most sweet drink. I'm gonna have to go see my dentist. and strong drink. Yeah, it's like mostly just straight liquor. Then uh, point. Wait for it. There you go. Okay. 0.25 ounces of grenadine. Look, finally the first non-alcoholic ingredient. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then one ounce of real lemon juice. Now, this is the last ingredient we have here on the table, but 
it's not quite the last ingredient. The last ingredient was orange juice, uh, which was supposed to make up around a fourth of the drink, but uh, <laughs> we forgot it. Thanks, Alex. So what we're gonna do is uh, drink it, drink it as straight as possible. We're gonna not have any mixer in here. This is gonna be horrible. Also, oh, it's one ounce. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Nice of that. Definitely, All right, definitely ice needed. Finally, thing is uh, to put some ice. I, that is the only saving grace here. The only thing watering down this drink. Hey, you know what they say a man thing mixer is, guys? What? Ice. Oh uh, well, okay. Sure. Can you give it a shake. A stir. A little bit. Very James Bond. This thing looks horrible. It's like it's probably gonna taste like the sweetest thing. Well, fair enough. Bottoms up. You ready, my friend? 24 hours in the life of ZZ Top. Complete the day. Uh, let's see how it is. That'll fuck you up. That's 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 dangerous. It's yeah, good. it's pretty good. And it's, it's pretty good. It yeah. definitely you definitely would drink this and know that you couldn't taste the alcohol, but no, there's a lot of alcohol in there. So a lot of things canceling each other out. It feels like. Yeah, like you would think like the lemon juice would be more lemony. It's not. You yeah. just, uh, I really taste the the cacao, cocoa, the cream. Honestly, it tastes like the beginning of a bad night. Mm -hmm. Like to drink two of these, oh my gosh, dude, somebody's gonna have to pull me out in a gurney. Or out of a gutter. Or out of a gutter. Whichever comes first. Or, yeah, usually in quick Out succession. of the gutter, into the gurney. Out of the gutter, into the gurney. Wow, this is intense. All right, that's been our day in the life of ZZ Top. Now, it's been a long, arduous day full of barbecue, beers, motorcycles, and alcohol. And some weird looks. Some but, weird looks. Know. Definitely in the hats and the, the flannels. We walk into the same place in the same shirts and the same hats, and they're like, okay, it's one of those. It was, right. it was a fun time. It was a fun time. A great time. We're going to do this for, again for sure, uh, but we wanted to do something really cool for the 100,000 subscribers. So, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, we really appreciate everything Absolutely. and everybody who's been here. And, and comment some other ideas of other like artists or bands we could do this for. Dude, I guarantee you don't have to tell any of them that. They're probably already in the comments section. Like, I typed four of them, so... <laughs> well, if we can get a thousand requests instead of 500, then that's more options. That's true. So. That's true. So thank you for being here. Absolutely. And uh, we'll finish these up and find ourselves somewhere in a gutter in downtown Orlando. And then you're great. See ya. See ya.